and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the game for Land of Freedom, a new game from Blue Panther, and take your very first turn. So for setup, we need to put the board out in the center of the table, and on each of the fronts we're going to put two little attack tokens to show that the fascists are attacking each of the four fronts, northern front, Aragon front, southern front, Madrid front. They're each going to be two attacks, so a value of negative two each. For the tracks, we need to put the standees together. So we're going to connect the top of each standee with the little bottom part. And once we've assembled each of those, we're going to put the standees out on the tracks. So liberty and collectivization, they go at five. The government goes at six. And then Soviet support and foreign aid each begin at three. Next, we need the two bonuses. So we're going to put out the morale bonus and the teamwork bonus. Put those tokens on the board in the on position. And then we need the medallions. There's nine medallions in the game. We're only going to be using five, so put all the medallions into the bag of glory and then randomly draw five of them out. Put those on the board. Those are the five that we're going to be using in this game. The other four, we're going to return those to the box. We're not going to be using them in this particular game. Next, each player needs to take their player aid and their tokens and the deck that matches their faction. So here we have the anarchists, the communists, and the moderates. And each of those players should put one player token into the bag of glory to help them try to win the game. So each begins with one in the bag. The moderates are now going to begin with the initiative token. That should be in the clockwise direction. So the anarchists get two hero points, the communists get two hero points. Now we can put the fascist deck year one on the board. And we should shuffle all the decks, by the way. Shuffle the fascist decks and the player decks. Uh, we also need to set aside the three reference cards and the rest of the attack tokens, the rest of the hero points, and the rest of the blank markers. Keep those all within reach of the board. And now we're ready to begin. So the very first turn of the game is gonna begin. We're gonna flip over the top fascist card and see what's gonna happen. So we have the airlift of the Army of Africa. And this card is gonna add five more attacks to the southern front. So we'll put those attacks out. The southern front is gonna go from a negative two value all the way to negative seven, because it has seven attacks on it now. So negative 10, we will lose that front. We're in already in danger of losing the southern front. The next effect is to turn off the teamwork bonus. We need to flip that bonus to the zero. The teamwork bonus is off now. And finally, the last immediate effect is minus one to Liberty. So Liberty is going to drop down to four. And these are all the effects of the airlift of the Army of Africa. Uh, the last thing on this card is, is telling us the test this turn is going to be in the southern front. We need to get that to negative two or better to pass this test. And if we do, the reward will be plus one to Soviet support. If we cannot, the negative consequence will be the government moving towards the center. Right now, the communists don't have control of the government because it's on the moderate side. But if this test failed, the government would move one towards the center and it would be taken over by the communists. So in a way, they might want to fail this test. On the other hand, if you're the moderates, you're going to want to pass this test for that reason. So we've done the fascist event. Now each player needs to choose their card for their turn. Each player should have drawn five cards as their starting hand. And everyone's going to choose their card at the same time. Let's start by playing the moderates. So the moderates are going to choose People's Olympiad. We'll put that face down. The other players will choose their cards. And once all the players have chosen their cards, the initiative player is going to play first. And the moderates have the initiative, so they'll be going first. So they're playing the People's Olympiad. And when they play this card, they have two options. They can either play it for the event or they can add it to their tableau. I'm going to show you both. So this event, if they choose to do that, would be turn on a bonus and any front plus three. So the teamwork bonus got turned off because of the fascist event. So they can turn that teamwork bonus back on by flipping it over. And then any front plus three, they are going to support the southern front because they want to pass this test. So that means they're going to remove three attacks off the southern front. And because they supported the southern front, they're going to put one of their little moderate tokens into that front to show that they contributed. So that's the event. Having completed that, this card would then go to the trash. You would return it to the game box. The other option would be don't do the event, add it to the tableau. And I'll show you how that works. This card is a one action point card. You can see the one on the top left. So they have one action point that they can use for anything on the board. They can use it for a front or a track or a bonus. So let's say instead of doing the event, they wanted to boost up the moderate control of the government. So they move the government one step to the right. 
doing that is going to then trigger this effect here, which is to increase foreign aid. We'll cover up that trigger with a blank marker, and then we'll increase foreign aid by one. So that's obviously really nice for the moderates. That was the action point. Now they can use the morale bonus to activate one of these icons on the card. Either they can turn on the teamwork bonus or add one strength to a front. So let's say they wanted to use the little helmet to add one strength to the front. So instead of being able to remove three attacks, they could still remove one from the southern front and put their little moderate token in the southern front, showing that they contributed. They didn't contribute quite as much by using the tableau, but that's because this is the first turn of the game. After this turn, uh, when playing to the tableau, this card would then remain in the tableau and would not be trashed. So future turns could become even more powerful by using the tableau. So that's just a quick example of how to take a turn, how to set up the board and the game and take your first turn for Land of Freedom. I hope you enjoyed it. Just as a reminder, Land of Freedom is now available from Blue Panther. You can buy it on the website at bluepantherllc.com. And thanks so much for watching.